Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. It's Marty at Stampin' Ink with Marty, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to show you a darling, uh, clever box that um, my upline, Rhonda Wade, recently um, demonstrated. It is so simple, uh, fast, easy box to make. You can create uh, fun, fun shapes and ideas with it. And it doesn't require any glue. You need to have a cutter. You need to have um, a, no no scissors are required unless you're going to be uh, doing some fancy stuff like the nose. And um, other than that, you need your some ribbon and a hole punch and your imagination. So let me show you how to get started. I'm going to bring my cutter in, and I really love my um, Stampin' trimmer. It is um, so handy to use. I can do both cutting and um, uh, scoring with it, and um, it is handy. It measures out to 12 because this arm will, will uh, fold out. But what we're going to do today is use a half of a sheet of cardstock, and it is four and a quarter inches wide by eight and a half. So you just take your uh, full sheet of cardstock and cut it in half. And then turn it on your um, cutter and score it in half. And that would be at five and a half. And so um, be sure to use the scoring tool, not the cutting tool. And that's all there is to this part. Then turn it this way and measure halfway marks on both ends and um, halfway is two and an eighth so we line it up there um, I guess you also need to have a pencil for this you could use um, a um, piercing tool to make a little punch mark there if you wanted but I'm just going to put a pencil mark there and a pencil mark on the other end at the um, right in the the cutting uh, spot right where the cutter would go and then I know that I have it at two and an eighth now I'm going to do some scoring I'm going to score from that mark to the um, hopefully you can see to the score line which is right here and I don't even have to erase these marks because they'll be on the inside of my card. So as you can see, the score line is there and the uh, pencil mark we made is there. Hold tight and just, just uh, score. Make another score mark on the other side. Same way, we're lining up here to the uh, score line down here. Now I'm going to do the other side. The thing I love about this box is it doesn't require any glue, no scissors, um, it's fast, and it's very clever. I think you could fill it with candy, you can fill it with um, money, you could fill it with gift cards, you could fill it with um, decorative soaps or lotions. The, your imagination is your limit on what you could put inside this cute little box. So now you see I have my score marks here and I have from here to here and we're just going to fold and I'm going to keep my pencil marks on the inside so they won't even be um, seen. I'm going to use my bone folder. I think everybody should have a bone folder for this for these types of projects and you can see mine is well used. I'm going to score on this or fold on this score line again. I'm going to fold on the score line here. And over here. And then we're Holding on this score line as well. And as you can see, we have a box that goes together. And um, as fast as that. 
Now, all we need to do is punch some holes in the lid, in the top end, and put our ribbon through, and then decorate. So let me show you how to do this. Notice that you want your box to be able to um, have a front, which would be this side, and a back, which would have these flaps towards the back. So while you're, do while you're keeping that in mind, you can make your holes and thread your ribbon. And I chose to use for this box the glittered organdy ribbon. You can have almost any kind of ribbon you like to go through this project. And I use about 20 inches of ribbon. So I have that cut and ready to go. So let me get the, the scorch, uh, my cutter out of the way. I'm using the 1 8 inch hole punch. I believe this is um, an, a retired item, but um, <clears throat> you can probably find this at any craft store for fairly inexpensive, I hope. Um, so now I'm putting my hole there, and then I want to do the same on the other side. Remember, I want my outside flap to go towards the back and... Punch, when you're punching, it doesn't make a big difference, but when you're threading, it does. So, whoops, I get out of the camera there for a little bit. Sorry about that. And we'll punch here. So, before I thread, just make sure, I want to make sure that I have the both of the flaps to the back. And I'm going to start on the outside. I've cut my ribbon to a kind of a point. And I'm going to just pull these together, line up the holes, and thread this through. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'll open this up a little bit to give myself some wiggle room. And again, keeping that flap to the back, I'm going to thread through here. This would be great craft for your, for you and the kids to do um, and fill it with maybe some homemade candies or um, homemade um, tree ornaments that the kids have made. I think that would be really fun. And you can dangle a, a gift tag off of this ribbon if you wanted. And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, going to be long enough. It's to tie a bow and just make a gift out of it or to tie a ribbon and hang it on a tree. So um, I think that's probably all you need. In order to do these, I used a three quarter inch strip of black, basic black, real red cardstock. And then I used a silver for the buckle. And it is one inch square, and then right on top of that, I put another square that is three quarter inch um, to make the the buckle. Same same with this one, the Grinch. And um, then I just took a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is. Let me find a ruler somewhere. Let me use my. That's a little embarrassing that I can't find a ruler in my craft room. Okay, so we are about two inches. Two inches, um, and then I just cut a jagged. I glued it on, and then I just trim off. It's so simple. Um, white ribbon for this one. The tree was just a star. This is garden green. This is, I think, retired glitter dots, but you could put... Um, anything you wanted on, on the tree for trim, like um, sequins, the snowman, the hat is a one inch square, and then a half inch little strip that I just glued together. I used some retired um, uh, gems here for his eyes and nose. But don't forget, if you have any gems or pearls or anything like that and some alcohol markers the stamp and write markers are um, 
Stampin' Blends are perfect for this. You can color these uh, gems any color you want. If you're starting out with white, you can make them easily make them any color you want. If you're starting out with another color, you'll have to experiment a little bit. But surely black would be an easy color to get. And then orange, this is pumpkin pie. Um, or, uh, yeah, I think this is pumpkin pie. I just cut a little um, triangle for the nose. So, and a red ribbon for the top. So I have a lot of fun with this. And then when you um, want to, when people receive this gift, they can open it up, take out all the fun stuff inside, and not have to throw away their lovely box. So, there you are. Hey, thanks for joining me. I hope you'll come again, and um, <coughs> happy crafting.